Hey guys, this is Genesis, the original support. Today I've got a video about jungling with a Moomoo. I'm going to start with Tantrum, and Smite, Romp. You do not have to take this jungle path. Um, i found it helps for Moomoo. Um, for Some people will start with the Moomoo's Bandage Toss. You can do that. I'm just not convinced that it allows you to path most effectively. Um, because Tantrum, Amumu's E, uh, has a nice little passive for damage reduction. And. Well, yes, I can. Because I'm still trying to wake up. He's got a nice little passive, and he takes reduced damage from physical attacks, and his active is it does damage to surrounding units. I'm just going to get a couple more pots and get back. Okay. Okay, so some people are probably lo watching this right now and saying, oh gosh, Mumu is so weak. That's true, but I didn't have a leash. Typically, as a jungler, you want to have someone... Uh, do some extra damage to the Let's jungle camp that you friends. start at. Uh, with tantrum. Where are we going? Um. The cooldown is reduced every time a Mumu takes, um, every time he takes damage. It's that's how it works. Another quick tip. You do not have to walk from camp to camp. Uh, you can use your bandage toss to move between the camps. So right here I've done a jungle camp clear all across my side of the map. I've got about 800 in cash. Um, there's a number of ways that you can go. Um, for myself, I already have a stun, so I'm not really sure that I need to get a uh, Trailblazer. Skirmisher's Saber, not really. Stalker's Blade might be your best bet if you're looking to gank early. Um, and if you're looking to gank early, you'd take Boots of Speed. Um, I'll take an amplifying tome um, just for the additional jungle clear speed. I'm not really uh. going to pay much attention to turrets and that sort of thing. One thing that I have mentioned before is that um, you should Where try and take going? the crabs as much as you can. Take those scuttle crab camps uh, in the river. I will be doing that here shortly. The best time to get them, honestly, is once you've got your first upgrade on your machine, so that you can get that extra. Otherwise, uh, otherwise, uh, you will. Wasting 
you'll be wasting a, a jungle camp, really. Uh, and, and the primary thing is just to get that extra, that extra 15 gold off of the upgrade bonus. I mean, that's, that's the primary reason to wait. You can start it early in order to get some additional uh, vision control of the river. Particularly if you suspect that the enemy team is going to try an early dragon. You really want to keep an eye on them. Um, so here I'd probably smite this away and just go double check. Where are we going? So yeah, if you can get... Um, if you can get a raptor camp smite... That's really going to help with uh, clearing out wards. You can save. Um, you can save your sweeping lens uh, for the other side of the river. Here, I'm going to go back. I'm going to finish off the Fiendish Codex. Pick that up. Going to pick up another pot. At this point, I'd probably want to start looking at ganking. If I hadn't done so already, even like a level two gank, um, taking a mumu on the what is that? Taking a mumu on the red side of the map Aww. is a decent place for him to do ganks in the bottom lane and the mid lane because you'll have you'll have you'll still have the buff from oh. okay which I believe that that poison damage extends even to champions I know it extends to lane minions so there's no question of that um Make it extend to champions and then you've got that blue bug. So you can keep you could keep um so let's say if you leveled up real quick and you you could have despair running the whole time. Um but yeah, so your level two you'd want tantrum and bandage okay. toss for your gank. Um if you gank bot. Come back, Mr. Crab. I want you to be my friend. Let's find some friends. Uh, typically, before ganking with the Mumu, you want to pick up Scuttle Crab and get that extra boost of speed. Um, not always necessary. Your turret has been destroyed. So as you can see, I picked up um, I picked up the Stalker's Blade with the Magus Enchantment. Um, <clears throat> so let's talk about items. Now there's there's stuff here for essential items. Um, The recommended page is a Sunfire Cape. Um, yeah, that's that's a situational thing. If the enemy team has a lot of ability power on it, um, my suggestion is not to go with a Sunfire Cape, but instead to pick up Leandri's Torment, which will make you a little tanky. 
Uh, it will also give you um, all of the Lee Henry's Torment passives <laughs> and actives, which is really nice. Um, also for also for your thought, um, pick up a realize. That's my suggestion. Um, like first thing, pick up a realize as soon as you can. That has a tremendous um, that has tremendous stats. It's you know, 400 health and 100 ability power for a tanks like a Mumu. That is essential. Um, so yeah. So Relize and Leandries. <coughs> if you're looking for more tank damage, um, so a couple of items that you could pick up would be the Iceborne Gauntlet, which would allow you to not run out of mana quite so fast. Um, and that that would be really helpful if say you were um, up against a team with uh, more AD champs it would allow you to take some more damage and keep going it doesn't have a lot of ability power but it's got CDR it's got a lot of mana and it's got some armor so that would be really helpful um, something else that would help out would be a rod of ages but you would have to get started on that early um, alright so let's see if I can take the dragon now Taking the dragon as a Mumu, you're going to need help from your teammates. Most of the time. Yeah, I probably should have gotten the blue buff. Something that I went over with um, when I did the Warwick video. Make sure that you can. Make sure that you smite away the dragon if you can. And like Warwick. Pick up the blue buff as a Mumu whenever you possibly can. Um, so I'm going to get Catalyst the Protector. Aww. But, you, guys, you have to understand, you do not need to follow this build path. You don't. It's not okay. that It's not that I'm doing this build path because, you know, I... Um, your turret has been destroyed. Oh shoot, there's a big wave. Come play with me. I'm not doing this build path because, you know, it's it's the fun and trendy thing to do. I'm doing it because um, if I wanted to pick up if I wanted to pick up Rod of Ages, it's a it's a decent item to get. As you know, really. You'd have to get you'd have to get started on it first. Oh. And bot lane. Probably should have gone for bot lane. Oh well. So yeah, Amumu is I'll clear out this lane and kinda of pop on it. Mumu is a very decent uh, AP tank in the jungle. Um, to be 
honest, he doesn't really fit in any other role. Which... That might sound kind of surprising, but Amumu's one of those champions that... Um, if you want to take him out of the meta and stick him into like the top lane, maybe he is a tank, you can do that. Um, but Let's find some be aware, people are going to see your trades coming. <laughs> and all they have to do uh, to avoid trading with you your is avoid the bandage toss. Turret. It's the same Come thing for ganks. Your turret has been destroyed. I'll go ahead and recall here. So yeah. <clears throat> Amumu is Amumu is a good jungle champion to have. He ganks pretty well. He does well in team fights, especially when he can throw down Curse of the Sad Mummy. Uh, it, it will lock down a number of targets and stun them. Um, he also does decent AoE damage. The one thing about Amumu is he's not going to melt entire teams. He is very much he is very much a pick and team fight oriented uh, jungle champion. He is not a carry. So if you have a team fight composition or a pick composition for your team, go ahead and pick Amumu if you need some ability power coming out of the jungle. <clears throat> and you should be fine. Like and subscribe, and leave your comments and suggestions for future videos. This is Genesis, the original support. Have a great day.